So I'm Daniel Snell, I'm the founder of an organisation called Arrival Education, a social enterprise working in challenging communities, developing young people uh, through our programmes. I'm Simon Minil Ritchie, I'm the founder and managing director of Franchising Works. It's an innovative programme to help people, particularly unemployed people, set up new businesses and new jobs using existing commercial franchising. Well, um, it's a really interesting stage in my life and I'm really looking forward to understanding what your thoughts are, but moving from that small scale mm -hmm. proof of concept yeah. pilot mm -hmm. to starting to go regional and starting to expand and bringing in talent into the organization, getting social investment, getting social investment ready, yeah. has been absolutely fascinating, but utterly demanding as well. And for those people who've never gone out and got social investment, they should know now it's a different <laughs> job on top of the job yeah. that you already do. Yeah. And, uh, I had a long summer dealing with investors, which was a really interesting experience, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And I love the rigor of it. I mean, particularly perhaps in the social enterprise sphere where we're essentially sort of supportive anyway, mm -hmm. it's not unhelpful to have the odd person asking us some of the harder questions and having to really revisit and rethink um, the whole basis of the model of our Talk business. Talk to me about that. How, I mean, that's bruising on the ego at any level. It you is. sort of come up with your best plan and they say, not very good, mediocre, go away. Well, you, uh, the best you can hope for is a draw, isn't it? Yeah. You know. my, one of my big uh, takeaways for people who are thinking about getting social investment is what they look for is in, who they're really investing is the founder and yeah. the management team. You know, do you have a flexibility of thinking? Can you take um, input? Can you react on input? And that's partly what they're looking at. You know, yeah. do you have drive? Do you have vision? Can you work with other people? Um, can you take on other people's thinking and ideas? You know, um, I'm a great believer that the best way to get investment or indeed support from anyone is to do things on the ground. And even if you've got no resources, it should be possible to get even a modest amount of something achieved on which you can then point to and people can then see that this isn't some very clever hypothesis about how you're going to sort of, or a theory of change, mm. but you can actually make a difference. And I think what we're really doing, um, uh, one of the many things we're doing, of course, is just trying to keep on building the forward momentum in the uh, outcomes that we set ourselves to do, because I don't think anything is really going to convince an investor or anyone else that we're worth getting involved with um, than the results of the programme. I think that's right. I think if you want to be successful, pr produce it results, prove it, have a model, um, have a product, have a service. Otherwise, it's very difficult for people to believe in you. You know, there's the question, if, if someone else were delivering this in a different city, how would it work? Yeah. What would it look like? Is it scalable? How much resource is needed? What does it look like? And so in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking about this. You know, I don't like to do things that I know that are never going to be used again. Yeah. Because what's the point? Yeah. Um, and, and, and there's the balance of having to just deliver every day and every day is new.